Okay, we're going to do a crash course, which hopefully is just a quick review, three minutes or less. We're not going to do any practice. It's all the big ideas, maybe some shortcuts too. Okay, so this is intended to shore up some misconceptions or just to help refresh you. Okay, so here we go. Three minutes or less, starting, well, I'm going to give myself a starting right now. So I got 319. Let's see how this goes. We're going to cover exponents. Big idea. Exponents is like a, it's like a shorthand, a shortcut way of writing repeated multiplication. So like in this example right here, 5 is the base. It's the number being multiplied by itself that many times. The exponent tells you how many times it's being multiplied by itself. So if I were to write this out, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, all multiplying. That's what that equals. You don't want to figure out what that number is. It's really big, so we write this instead. Okay. Um, now what gets confusing sometimes is what is actually the base. Like for example here. 3x squared parentheses. That means 3x squared is the base. There would be five of these multiplying together. So that would be five threes multiplying together and five x squareds multiplying together. Each one of those x squareds is two. There's five of them. That makes 10 x squareds. Okay? All right. Now, note these two things are totally different. Here, um, this has an exponent of one, so does this three here, but this 3 is inside the parentheses, which means there's 5 of them. This one is on the outside. This is 3 times x to the 10th, and this would be 3 to the 5th x to the 10th. So a little different. Got to be careful on how you read those. Next up, um, repeated multiplication. So if you see something like this and it asks you to rewrite it as an exponent, that's just 4 to the 7th. You just count them up. There's 7 of them, just like that. If you're asked to expand 3 to the 5th, um, without multiplying it out, you would just write out five of them, right? So where people get a little mixed up, a lot of times people say this would be 12 because they're multiplying, but order of operations say exponents before multiplication. Um, so this would just be 3 to the 5th, 4 to the 7th. If you write it all out, you're repeatedly multiplying a 3 five times, and you're repeatedly multiplying a 4 seven times, not a 12 12 times. This is a much bigger number than if you multiplied this out. Now, we just said that order of operations says you have to multiply before you can, or you have to do exponents before you can do multiplication. The thing is here, we're repeated multi repeatedly multiplying the same thing. So you can go ahead and just add those exponents together. See, there's two threes here, there are four there. And if you write them all out, add them up, you see you get six. So the shortcut is that if you had something like, like, like this, that that's x to the n plus m, okay? So that's if the base is the same, you can add the exponents. Now this one here is a little different. This would look like if you have a power raised to a power is the way they say it. And that's just multiplication because if you write this out, we have four three squareds. So there's two threes, four threes, six threes, eight threes, all multiplying together if you wrote the whole thing out. So that's how that works. Now this one right here is the same thing. The thing is there's a one that's an invisible exponent for that two. So I actually have four twos multiplying and I have four x cubes multiplying, which makes 12 x's and four twos all multiplying. So the shortcut would be kind of like you multiplying those exponents together, everything in the parentheses. All right, moving on. Uh, next up, division. So x to the fifth divided by x to the third, that would be kind of like this shortcut is how you see it written a lot. It's the numerator, numerator's exponent, being subtracted by the denominator's exponent. The reason that works is if you wrote this out, you'd have five x's in the numerator and three in the denominator, and these would all reduce. So another way you could think about it is like this right here. x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth. x cubed divided by itself is one. So if you multiply that together, you get x to the third. Um, or five minus three is two, so x squared. No trouble there, but where you get in trouble is if it's the other way around. If the, if the numerator has a smaller exponent, you end up with a negative. Because 3 minus 5, you have to do the numerator minus the denominator. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Turns out negative exponents are, um, are division. It's reciprocal. We'll get that in just a moment. If I were to write this out the way I did the first example, though, it's a little easier to see. See, x cubed, x cubed. x cubed divided by itself is just 1. And you're left with 1 divided by x squared. Okay. Um, next thing we got, anything to the power of 0 is 1. I will show you, I will put a link in the description as to why that's true. It's kind of an interesting thing. All right, so that's just a rule. It doesn't matter what it is. Anything with the power of zero is one. Okay, now, negative signs mean opposite. 
Exponents are mul repeated multiplication, so the opposite of that would be repeated division. So x to the negative third power is 1 divided by x three times. So it would be 1 over x, 1 over x, 1 over x. That would be the shortcut. Um, where you get in a little trouble is when you're already dividing. When you divide, you multiply by the reciprocal. That's why it ends up doing like this. So the shortcut would be you take the reciprocal, change the sign. Take the reciprocal, change the sign of the exponent. Don't change the sign of the base, like if it was something like this. That would be um, 1 over negative x cubed, right? So you don't change the sign of the base, change the sign of the exponent. Now the reason this works is because 1 divided by x to the negative fifth, well, x to the negative fifth is 1 over x to the fifth, right? And we're dividing that into 1. So we're dividing 1 by 1 over x to the fifth, see? 1 divided by 1 over x to the fifth. And what you divide is you multiply by the reciprocal, and that's just x to the fifth. Okay. Last one. Last one. Check this out. Um, people get all happy taking reciprocals of everything. If it has a positive where it's at, a positive exponent, you just leave it right where it's at. Nothing's changing. This is division. See? This one's division. When you're dividing and it's already in the denominator, it moves to the numerator. And that one just stays right where it is. So that was a really quick, really quick video. And I went way over my time, but I still rushed. Uh, if this video was helpful, please click like. You can always subscribe for more videos. Leave me questions in the comments, and uh, have a great day.